hey what is up YouTube thank you for tuning in today I'm gonna show you how to replace the screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 so I have one right here with a broken screen so as you can see the damage right here let me turn it on and as you can see unusable so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace this so let's get right into it So here is a brand new screen for it. So it comes with a couple of tools. You have a plastic pry tool. You actually have two of them. A suction cup, a few screwdrivers, a SIM ejection tool, and two plastic pry tools. That's really nice. And here is the brand new screen. Construction card. And here is the brand new screen. Comes with a couple of ribbon cables. A hole punch for the camera. So, as you can see, this is going to be a straightforward replacement. So, let's get right into it. So, the first step is to go ahead and turn off the phone. Here, I can't do it because the screen is completely busted. And then you're gonna go ahead and remove the SIM card. And then you're going to go ahead and remove the S Pen. And then we're ready to open it. Use a heat gun to heat up the back of the phone. It's mostly the edges. This is going to melt the glue. And then using a plastic pry tool, you're going to go ahead and remove the back panel. As you can see you want to be careful because you often have ribbon cables along the sides just like this this one was a lot easier And you can go ahead and apply more heat if it cools down. Just like this. And as you can see, this comes out easily. So the next step you're going to use the right Phillips head screwdriver 
and then you're gonna remove the screws all around we're basically gonna transfer the parts from this phone over to the new screen always keep a magnet around to keep the screws together This layer is the reverse wireless charging pad. This is the ribbon cable that connects it to the motherboard. So you're gonna remove that. So we're gonna remove the S Pen charger ribbon cable. As you can see right here. And then we're gonna remove the battery. And then we're gonna pop off all these ribbon cables. These two are gonna be transferred to the new screen. This one already exists in the new screen. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery. But first we're gonna have to remove the charge controller board from the bottom right here. I'm gonna pop off this cover. Just like this. So this is the speaker and then the charge controller board. Then remove the ribbon cables. comes up just like this the vibration motor this comes up just like this all right and then we have clearance to remove the battery next I'm gonna remove the main board This comes out just like this. As you can see. And then we have access to the main board. We want to go ahead and try that out. Being careful with the ribbon cables that we also have to pop off. Just like this. The front facing camera must also come up. Just like this. And this comes out easy. We want to remove the front facing camera. That just comes up at an angle and it's out. Then we're going to remove the top firing speaker. Most things are removed. We don't need uh, the volume ribbon cable and we don't need the power cable they already exist on the new screen so you want to be careful when removing the battery because it's uh, secured with a double-sided tape sometimes very strong uh, it's easy to damage the battery if you're not careful here so we're gonna use the plastic pry tool and we're gonna go where there is the biggest gap which is the bottom right here and then we're gonna carefully pry that up as expected, removing the battery is not uh, 
walk in the park so you want to be very very patient I'm using playing cards to kind of lift it just like that and the battery is out all right so we're gonna go ahead and transfer everything into the new screen I would suggest you order a frame that comes with the battery pre-installed so you can just get rid of the old battery but if you want to take a chance you can do that but you have to really be careful when removing the battery it's tricky front facing camera just at an angle the front speaker we also have a couple of films that we have to remove from the new screen the speaker goes right here like this and then we're gonna install the main board and then the ribbon cables the volume button ribbon cable, the power button, just like this, and then the charger for the S Pen, just right here. Next is the battery, so I'm going to go ahead and peel off this film. Put the screen ribbon cable, the charge board, that's going to go into place right here. Just like this. The vibration motor. So I'm going to cut a tiny piece of double-sided tape to secure it. This is right here. Just like this. And like this. So the vibration motor can sit. Okay, I was supposed to put it before the board, but it does fit since I haven't secured it yet. So first I have to secure the charge board. Right here. And the third screw goes right here. And then the speaker and the cover. Alright. Supposed to go after the pad. These are going to stick back on top just like this. And then we'll secure it with the remaining half screws. But we're going to make sure that the ribbon cable is connected. Right here. Alright. left and just like that everything is back together nicely so the next step is to go ahead and put the cover back on but we want to make sure everything is clear there is no prints on the camera lenses all right so before anything we want to go ahead and turn it on see if everything works as expected As you can see, turns on, no issues.
right seems to be working so let's go ahead and put this back together but that we're gonna use the double sided tape Just like this. Now we can go ahead and peel this off. Nice and glossy. Great. So this is how you replace the screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Thank you for watching. See you around.